So we have a lot of findings and I think the most, I would guess, most exciting one is the, the case of the manipulation by J.P. Morgan, uh, a, a large uh, banking group in the US. They did spoof and we were able, with the techniques that we developed here at CERN, to visualize their manipulations. So we saw an analogy between uh, financial markets and particle physics. What CERN is doing, they're looking for anomalies in data that fits the standard model. And we're looking for anomalies in financial market data that looks like manipulation. So we're both looking for anomalies in data. So from that insight, we thought, why can we not do a project where we mutually develop on the anomaly detection techniques that we have at CERN to advance this field and help regulators in Europe to better detect fraud in financial markets. The HILO project was actually, it was initiated by having too much data and that's always a great start. Um, so uh, there were uh, a couple of people which, uh, who had uh, lots of finance data and they were looking for tools that would allow them to actually analyze that data, to find knowledge in that data. At SAN what we're truly good at is finding a sort of a needle in a huge haystack. We produce a lot of data with our detectors and the signals that we're looking for are very small. But we need to prove with very strong statistical evidence that what we find is really there. So this know-how is also something that you could transpose to the finance world. And basically the goal of HILO is to create basically a research group that is going to accelerate, if you will, the development of tools that can detect market manipulation by combining financial econometrics with particle uh, physics methods. So then the logic is, okay, you know what, let's get this group together. So regulators and exchanges and create a sort of platform in which we co-develop together new tools in order to combat market manipulation. The potential applicability of particle physics data to financial markets, I have to admit, is one that hadn't occurred to me. Uh, so it's very interesting to see that there's a crossover. Uh, again, the most interesting part, I think, is that definitely the big data challenges. The, it's definitely on a different scale here at CERN, and being able to talk directly with the, the people who are responsible for capturing that data, saving it, and making sense of it was fantastic. From the looks of it now, just increases our ability to um, analyze the market, visualize the market, get a grasp on uh, things we couldn't see before. I really hope that we can um, really make really effective uh, market surveillance tools, um, but also hopefully, and it might be a bit ambitious, but really refine the legal framework. And I hope that with the tools and the things that we discover, we make it more narrow also, so it's uh, clearer to market participants what is allowed to do and what isn't. We are working now with Stan on a, what, we, what we call an agent-based modeling procedure. So we recreate financial markets using Stan technology and we are going to use that simulated financial market in order to test our tools. So in that financial market we could put agents that are bad, that are spoofing. At the same time we can put in regulators in that financial market and see how they interact. Uh, I had no idea that we could work so closely together that all my field, financial economics and particle physics is so far apart, we can find common ground and common language and together uh, I think we can be pretty successful. <laughs>